Earth has always been host to all kinds of strange phenomena. But after the fall, it sometimes felt like we were living on another planet. But when Mom disappeared, I just couldn't deal with Gavin. I came down here, and, and the stream, the stream had become electric. So much on the surface was dead, but I'd never felt so alive. It was like magic. Not magic. Piezoelectricity. Gwen figured it must have been the mineral composition of the water charged by the EMP. It was Thaddeus' cobalt power, just on a larger scale, something Kale was obviously immune to. That was low voltage. This is much stronger. Could be quite dangerous if the water flowed fast enough. I found the idea of a new natural energy source very intriguing. Gwen, on the other hand, was fascinated by how the piezo water had altered the settlers' physiology, how it had slowed their metabolism and heart rate to subhuman levels, allowing them to absorb the electricity. The settlement even had luxuries the surface didn't, like an endless supply of light and heat. But there was one major drawback. The settlers were still dependent on the old world to survive. Their gardens were all above ground. That brought on the wrath of Barrett and his militia. The settlers had clearly been enhanced by the piezo water, but their transformation had cost them the ability to heal. Sepsis. They need antibiotics for their infections, or they'll die. No, we aren't going back up there. We can take care of ourselves. All you freaks! You are under arrest! No matter how fantastic the environment, seemed like there was always something, or someone, to remind us we were still on Earth.